That is right. Future careers. A simple search provided me with this a gem um, that I'm about to unveil for myself. It will be revealing, I'm sure, as all life is. Yes. Hey, guys. This video is called... Welcome to... 23 Jobs of the Future and Jobs that Have No Future. To my channel. Today we're going to talk about professions that are going to be in high demand in 5 and 10 years. And I'm also going to mention professions that have no... So if you had a 5 and 10 year old plan already and you've already cashed in into a business that she's about to say is worthless, smashed, you better just end it all right no smash what are you talking about let's find out no future according to forbes monster and glassdoor these are resources that i've researched for this video so yes. if you're interested what to do in five and ten years continue watching this video continue continue watching watching this video yeah let's do it F full core back to san francisco our minds may change Right, that's right there. This is what this is Inception, right? Look, Inception, the cube world, and the cube is uh, they inflicted and painted and refracted. This is them smashing you right open. Wow, exactly. What is reality? You make it so say it, believe it. This person, and she's telling you right there, amazing. Oh, Linguaramara. What did, what what was that? What was that? <laughs> Lingua Marina The tongue of the ocean, the tongue of the waters. Wow, what is she saying? Are you a slithering something? What are you saying? The tongue that slithers, that's what she's saying. The the wow. A lot of professions are getting automated. We have Amazon Go here in San Francisco. People can check out without talking to others. They just go and uh, they're automatically built for what they have in their pockets. A lot of Wow, exactly. It just totally scans you and defiles you left and right and you don't even give a damn as, as long as you get what you went in there to get. Amazing. Automobile companies are testing driverless taxis and driverless cars and trucks. So low-level jobs. Driverless everything, right? Just you're not even driving your life. That's right. That's what they're saying. Are getting automated. Robot. What it means for us as human beings, it means that in the future we're going to lose a lot of those low-level jobs. But it means that we have. We're going to lo lose those low-level jobs. The people that are driving us everywhere and all this, some, so, somehow they're low-level jobs. Wow, amazing. A lot more space for creativity. So today I'm going to talk about... What was that person looking at? A bashed brain. What was that? What it means for us as human beings, it means that in the future we're going to lose a lot of those low-level jobs. Low but it means job. that we have a what lot more space. What is this person looking at? A bashed brain. What is that? What is that? What are they looking at? And the, the, the abyss is just telling them what to do next because it's telling them it's in control and to trust it fully because it's rewarding you with looking at a fast brain. And you think you're so clever that you built this that it's going to display an image of, you guessed it, a bash brain, which is your bash brain. This is you beating the life out of yourself relentlessly over and over again with the unicorn third eye that you have it's growing so big it's going to reach the galactic multiverses of this tunnel the abyss space for creativity so today i'm going to talk about markets that are going to thrive market number one okay tell us which markets medicine. are going to medicine amazing why because nobody thought that that would be a worthwhile industry to go in right wow what a shame uh Oh, a rainbow. <laughs> oh, she couldn't wait to turn the colors off and point at a rainbow.
because this is when it goes full beast. She's going to only talk about the light now telling her what to say. Yes, the light is now telling her what to say fully because she has lost all sense of color and bearing and orientation. Yes. <laughs> Openings on those markets have been growing really fast, 26% year over year. And if we compare 2010 with projections for 2020, we Oh, she couldn't wait either. Here we go with this further thing. And look, what what is that? That's a defiling of just mashing more mash and mash and thinking that it's going to be awesomer and more awesomer and awesome to the point of oblivion and not even knowing what the word even means. What is the word? The word is the life, the truth of the way. Yes, the word of God, not man's word. What are you talking about? And sure, you'll say, well, the the scriptures, the holy verb of God was written by men. Wow. What a shame. What a shame. When you can look all around you and see life relentlessly giving itself, just smashing against the wall, just oceans and oceans of love and blood that you have. But no, you just want to open that and just pour it all over your sacramental stone of sacrifice to who? yourself that's right because you worship your higher self that tells you you can whisper th sweet nothings into your th blasted fl flossed trawled brain and you have totally harvested everything and now you're seeking to devour the, the closest thing to you and that is your children wow so you're going for the children and you're going to tell them it's a-okay don't worry as long as you have this chip in your hand you'll be a-okay yes that is my inheritance to you, sweetie. I love you so much. I'm going to make them put this and totally just blast you even more into beating the life out of you relentlessly. All because, yes, we're all beasts and dust and animals and creatures and who cares who gets with who. Because as long as it feels good, do it. Amazing. We're going to get that there would be 700,000 more jobs. And this not only applies to doctors, and of course doctors are going to be in high demand, it also applies to doctors. It also applies to all the people that blast them with all the things that they're cooking up, right? To people who take care of people who sit at home, like home care. Because we... Oh, because who couldn't live without home care, right? Wow, this person has been decrepited to the level of needing a... Uh, Something of metal to sustain is what? His flesh. Who would have thought what is going on? Wow. Yes, because these people were always never old. They were never old and they never grew old. But somehow we are now living with this. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? We started to live longer. I just chatted to a guy here in San Francisco and he's in his 50s and he's like, I'm going to live till 180 years. Exactly. They couldn't wait. The smash image between the image and the image and the image of the smash match. Oh, who cares? Look, as long as you look with this good eye because this one's already smashed. And they're telling you because this one's obviously the abyss telling you to believe this one because the bliss is somehow just mashing, fashion, 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 just all of a sudden you're old and smashed. <laughs> It's true. That is the truth. And that is what you believe. So that's why I say it. Years and he's doing his biohacking. He's uh, working on nutritious food that's going to help you get all the vitamins. But this means that, yes, we're going to live longer and we're going to need a lot more help. <laughs> wow. So we're going to live longer than the last person. We saw just all that crap and crap. We couldn't even stand up. What is going on? You want to live longer? What is wrong? What is the bash that has been flossed over and over relentlessly giving you a Disneyland experience of blasting into some sort of beauty that you can transform at the whim of your desire because it feels good. Wow. Amazing. Healthcare. Doctor. Doctor. Second thing that is... Wow. Creepy and dissatisfied. It did nothing. Nothing except just blast you with that image that you can unsee. That is true. Truly true. And you know it. And that's why you stick your tongue out and mock us. That's right. 
thriving on this market is IT in medicine. And yes, a lot of IT in medicine. Yes. Who knew that there could be a program away that a screen tells you you're doing a good job and being efficient and so fast. Wow. Who knew? Who knew that the light could be bent to deceive you further into the bent shatteredness of Cain, Landy Cain of nowhere? Okay? It's nowhere. Okay? You want, you're you just hooked into it. That's the bait and hook, and you are this line. Depleted. Depleting. Memory depleting because soon you will totally forget and be obliterated of the life that you are, and all because what? You give us life and you're going to say we paved the way to the future. Yes, we did it all on our own and we are amazing gods, right? No. Wow, shame. What a shame. Doctors' offices are getting automated. And yes, we can create some processes that are happening in our cells in a lab and watch how we can affect them. Right, so what is this? Do doctors actually look at this in their daily lives? No, this is a, who knows? This is the abyss, right? They say there's probably a neuron or some sort of, you know, galactic blast of solar just collecting upon the goal. Is so, no, they're going to say, wow, this is consciousness. We finally found it. Or wow, look, this is a new song where we're going to live, guys. Who knows what it is, but as long as you believe what they say it is, you'll believe it. Yes, you will. Because look, it's so beautiful, and who, who would ever use a deceptive like image like this to just bash? No one, right? Of course not. That's just all in your head because you believe the diagrams and the books and all. Because when have you carved open a person and just slapped them and took them and cooked them and skewered them and totally impaled them and totally done them over to follow them left and right and to your own benefit of what? drawing something that already is you're trying to recreate the image in your image what is going on what is going on and then calling it your way amazing so amazing because who cares if your neurons look like this what who who gives a damn because it all just goes to push a story the story of building a way and the pavement is so durable that you can go and build in space on it yes and it's so eco-friendly because who gives a damn now you can pollute as much as you want and pave the way pave the earth for that matter because it's so eco-friendly you won't even miss the grass no, what is grass? Nothing, because you relentlessly stomp on it with your boots on the ground and your yoga mats of hot, sweaty flesh that just trample and trample and take it away because you believe it. Wow, you believe it and what? Exactly. Nothing, because you believe that this is a big band that just blew up and just imploded in your brain somehow. That somehow the life you know is eternal in you and you have the flesh to live it in this snapshot of a minute. What are you talking about? No, that is the only gift you have to acknowledge and return to the Father, not be further seduced to continue and rising out of the phoenix of some tyrant, of some you know, iron man who just could defy all things as long as he has his galactic bodies just there holding hands and blasting and bashing more and more and more. Wow, what a shame. It couldn't possibly be that it's a spiritual battle beyond these images. Beyond the image. Who knew that it, it is a constant just obliteration of for your soul. Yes, your soul, your living eternal life. Wow, who knew? Wow, what a concept. No, it couldn't possibly be that. It has to be because this, I want my consciousness to be this. This, because the light is so beautiful and it's so amazing. The light is so amazing. But who cares because you could see this light and say, no, this is orange. And I could say, no, this is purple. And then you say, it doesn't matter because if you see it differently, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I could just hold your hand and just... It eternally look into the abyss and hold hands for nothing for nothing wow amazing amazing what are you doing holding hands in the flesh and just fearing 
you know, somehow your flesh being unanimated, somehow that's the determinant of how you live. Well, where do you get your values from? That's right, exactly, because you know it's written in your heart and your, your God just pulls and those strings relentlessly. But no, you have deceived yourself into believing the reaction and you, the response of the 33rd victim. What are you talking about? You are the, oh, come on, exactly. And there are also some magical things that are happening right now. There's this machine in Stanford called Da Vinci Machine, and uh, you can perform a surgery without even being there. Wow, the Da Vinci Machine, because Da Vinci was so amazing. He was a master in this mystery school that just obliterated the landscape. And it didn't give a damn. It just took. It took and took and then took and took and defiled and defiled and made it in his own image. And it's so beautiful because it's sacred geometry blasting into your main brain. And just amazing. It could not be possibly that, wow. Life is eternally mind-blowing in the sense of, yes, you are here to live it. Live life. Live right, righteously in line with truth. And who's truth? The only truth. And the way and the love, okay? Do you understand? No, you don't. So it kind of cuts in the human being and does whatever needs to be done. And you can have a doctor here in the United States. Do whatever it has to be done. It can even be done by like a guy that you can have military personnel just go in there and totally blast this landfill with not even have to go and put boots on the ground. Wow, what a shame. United States and that machine in Africa somewhere and the doctor from here will perform and of course it's such a it's such a good great amazing thing because oh you oh we can just go and operate on all over the world we can just go operate anywhere in the most desolated places and guess what yes this octopus will go in there and just totally sodomize you wow amazing and people are cheering this on wow and it's totally automated so obviously they're saying this robot, these people shouldn't even be on here because this is the robot doing the surgery, not the people. What are the people doing there? Get out of there, people. You don't belong there. Look, your place is just below it, getting victimized to the 33rd power by some guy just sitting there with something looking into the abyss. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is, look, wow, three lights and then five. Oh, Wow, they could not wait to do that. Wow, amazing. Form a surgery and IT in medicine is also a huge market. It's going to reach more than $100 billion in valuation in 2020 and it's growing 50%. Wow, giving you a bunch of numbers of how much you can, that big of a pie that you could get possibly. Who gives a damn? You might as well just put all these pills and pump them down so hard down your chest and inject them with your blood and try and make some cocktail to bring you to the next level of superhuman existence where you feel everything and nothing. Wow. Daily report schedule, 8.15. Your glasses are down looking into the face back at you and you know nothing. Wow, amazing. Year over year. So if you're interested in that, first your career there, you're going to have future 100%. Oh, 100%. If you're willing to listen and do the homework. What homework? The world's homework, right? Because it couldn't possibly be put the light to the word of God and put it to the test. Put it to the test. Meaning, in through your flesh, your eight mind brain that you believe you have, and looking at the word of God and seeing the truth. Wow, it will just obliterate the actual illusion of what you believe. Wow, what a concept. But no, you have to go and smash and dash and just, wow, just follow. Follow the people that will tell you what to do and when to do it because it's the right timing and you got to cash out when you cash in and make sure you bring the cash when there is no cash. And to make more cash, you need to spend that cash you don't have, but spend it anyway. Spend it anyway because who cares a damn as long as you're doing what you love or what you've been told at least and blasted it to that you love. Because just yes, sure, you might love to travel and just go help the kids of all poor everywhere. But what are you doing? Nothing. You're going to go play and play around and make fiddles and do workshops and do nothing just so you can feed your dirty person body living off nothing. What are you doing?
Are you out there telling people about the love of God? No, you're not. You're just going out there making a clown of yourself. Making a clown of yourself to get the crumbs you need to fill your belly to get to the next mash of next flesh mash after the next. Why? Because you think you're so amazing and you're living so alternatively and you're doing all these amazing progressive things and you're thinking you're paving the road to where exactly the future and what is the future they relentlessly tell you and the past and all this nonsense and you believe in the power of now and all this nonsense what are you talking about smashed completely smashed medicine market number two creative professions as i mentioned before creative professions what does that mean fantasy Fantasy, fantasy to the 33rd power, yes! All thanks to what? The wonderful work that Hollywood had to proffer all these years. And yes, thank you all the blissful, you know, sodomizers and pedophiles and just touchers and robbers of the innocents. Yes, thank you so much. A lot of jobs are getting automated. All of the creative professions are going to thrive because, yes, we have AI, but it's not that developed yet. It cannot create awesome photographs. It cannot create awesome videos. It cannot edit videos. Wow, so it's just all about appearance. It cannot create an image. Wow, who would have thought? It can only manipulate and shape shift with it what it already is and here to show you the truth. Wow. Wow and wow, AI is not good enough to make good videos or pictures or whatever nonsense, creativity nonsense, right? That's why it just defiles your fantasy and projecting you to there do its destruction and implant the seed of what? Self-satisfaction, the glory of what you think will ascend you from the ashes to the riches of what? False promise, that's right. Videos. It cannot write text for you. Yes, it can do some kind of stuff, but it is not yet on a human being's level. So, my dear photographers, vloggers, content creators, um, video editors, you're gonna have a lot of future, and also like designers, architects. There's a architects. She could not wait. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She could not wait. You could not wait the architects, the architects, because the ar architects are the gatekeepers. The gate gatekeepers of what? Exactly. Be creative. Design. Design what? Your own vision. Your own vision. Design your own vision. Not see what it clearly is all around you and in you all and blasting everything all at all one time relentlessly over and over. No, you believe in this. You believe in death only. You worship it so much that it's just stabbing you relentlessly back in the eyes. Wow. Because it totally distorted you from seeing the truth. A huge future for those professions as well. And action. Profession number three. Wow. It took her what i don't know she's pretty fast sales people at first i was surprised there is so much technology sales people and i was surprised because she was probably looking up this info and she's like hmm, sales people they seem like they would just be cannon fodder and nobody gives a damn because who mm -hmm, they're just the ones that make you feel good and pumpy and pumpy and pumpy until you buy something or are just there to give you all the you know the pumps and pumps and pumps if you ask any questions and then you'll just be smash 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 buy anyway buy anyway buy anyway exactly it's just an all candy land exchange of of nothingness all feeling false reward with empty promises of what you guessed it more of nothing wow what a concept that is automating sales uh, my friend here he created a company chat fuel and they have automated bots they're gonna sell you anything but what we sell you anything exactly you want it we sell it wow what does that sound like? Wow. What says is that we're looking for more individual care and chatbots cannot provide that yet because again, AI is not that developed. Chatbots cannot provide that because then you just go into the filth and you just go into a, a rabbit holes and, you know, wormholes and this. Wow. Who would have thought that it's this, that this illusion tr after illusion, you know, apparition after apparition of deception. 
shape-shifting everything. It cannot keep up with all the lies. It's relentless. Relentless lies that don't even matter because you know why? As long as they steal, kill, and destroy and thieve away the only thing that ever and will matter anytime, anywhere because it is the life forever, life everlasting, the eternal life. Yes. So salespeople have awesome skills in sale, selling stuff. Your field is growing 16% year over year. and 16% every year. Oh my God, it's so amazing. 16%. And every year you can aim for more and more and more and more. Yes, yes, yes. Again, if we compare 2010 to 2020, we're going to have 700. That's right, because this is what you're going to have to do in order to get there. Shake hands with somebody, but you don't know what that means. That's just diversifying and giving the swarm more power to control you and just demolish you. Demolishing you. Totally manipulating you to do whatever it takes to what? Nothing. Give you a raise, move up, give you a different space to just bash a different desk. What are you doing? What are you doing? Who cares if we have the the the, the toughest penthouse of nothing? The view of down of the filth of the city, what that perpetuates. What are you talking about? Nothing. The parent family that loves you for what you're doing. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Because ultimately, you're leading your family, what, to the cindering phoenix that will apparently rise from the ashes. Wow, what a lie. What a lie. 100,000 more openings on those positions. Good thing for all of us guys is that a lot of professions that I'm mentioning in this video, if you have passion for them, if you have enough time, you can definitely learn them online for all of the... Whoa. Wow. Just by shape shifting her face a little bit forward, she looks like a different person. Amazing. Potential salespeople out there, I just found a course that is called Getting a Yes on a Platform Called Skillshare. Getting a Yes. How to prep, pitch, persuade, and close. Yes. How to become a master witch of manipulation. Yes, join me. Yes, join me. Look at me. I'm so amazing. Wow. Wow. And Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, technology, etc. And if you get their premium membership, you're going to get unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working their fields, and you can improve their skills and learn from somebody who's from that market, not like somebody who just read a book and, you know, is telling you what to do. I like that Skillshare has all of the creators that are professional. Right. For example, if you if you want to teach your child about drugs, go send him down to the local, you know, where recovery addicts or whatever the hell you want to call it. But yeah, have one of them. Yes. And see what happens. OK, just have a mass beautiful experiment. Just do it because, yes, you believe that, oh, everyone should be trusted. And especially people that have continuously or relentlessly just beat the living life of them relentlessly over and over again. Of course, you can repent and abandon the wasteful ways of the fallen world. Of course, overcome. But then, of course, that it's undeniable. You don't have to constantly test and try to prove it and nothing. No. What are you talking about? professionals in what they're talking about. Skillshare is also more affordable than most learning platforms out there because an annual subscription is going to get you unlimited access just for $10 a month. And by the way, there is a link below. It's my exclusive link. And all about skills, all about upgrading your skills and just doing the same thing over and over again as long as you think you're getting better and loved by the world for it. Okay? Wow. What a shame. What a shame. And you call that living. You call that life. What is life? You don't know what life. What is life? You say, oh, well, it's the air we breathe, the water we drink, and everything in the middle. What? Wow. Exactly. What's the middle? What's the middle? What's the line that you think you're straddling? What is the middle you think you are straddling? Where's the barrier from the air to infinite vacuum? Where's that barrier? Otherwise, yes, air and water and everything in the middle. Wow, what a concept. You've been bashed in the head upside down, tripped, kicked, and kicked down, and pushed up again, helped up, 
with a false hand and smashed again, pushed down the stairs and traveled on and kicked again. Why are we doing this? Why are we doing this relentlessly over and over again? Wow. You might say, well, it's just the way of man. It's just a man's nature. Wow. What a shame. What a cowardly thing to say to hide just behind some narrative that you never even knew existed until you knew about it and you never really believed it until it was relentlessly beat into you and beat savagely into you over and over and over again until all of a sudden you wake up and you don't even know what human nature is. What is human nature? Bash. It doesn't even exist, right? According to you, it doesn't. Because you just bash it into what, whatever you want to make it. That feels good. Wow, amazing. And you can even say, well, no, we have to accept even the worst in us. Oh, wow, what a leap. But yes, it's there. It's everywhere. You're going to have to accept everyone's behavior no matter what. All in the efforts of joining, moving along to the future. What a shame. What a shame, exactly, because now you're so safe behind the walls that you call your home or your apartment or your box, wherever you're stashed and bashed, who cares? But you call yourself, you call that, you know, your life. But who cares? Who cares if there ever was a time or ever will come a time as long as it doesn't affect you or you're not even feeling it because it doesn't matter. Wow. Trashed, smashed, and slashed. Shanked and done over again and again and again. Okay? What is going on? 500 people who click it are going to get two months for free. Industry number four uh, that is going to need a lot of people is food industry. And yes, again, there are... Oh, the food industry. Here we go. Machines that are... Yes, because look, they're telling you this is the food industry. Wow, just auto voting this how it's gonna smash you next and make it taste good. Absolutely. Wow. Or even just tell you, no, you don't even need food anymore. You can just take this pill and then drink this drink and you will feel amazing like this guy up here. What is that? That is some sort of mannequin, but who knows what it is? And you can see the tie up there. What is that? What is going on? What is going on? These blasted screens everywhere, just blasted, blasted. You know, all these ketchups and relishes. Yes, let's do it. Guys, automate the future forever. Yes, jump on board because you can be part of it. So say this video. Automating the processes in the industry. Um, I just met a guy who created Cafe X, and this is a cafe that is automated here in San Francisco. You click a button, you get your cup of coffee, you're done. And also, there was wow. this uh, startup in my combinator that created a machine that did sandwiches, but I think they shut it down. And oh my goodness, what is this? Okay. Now you have people complaining about hygienics and this nonsense, right? Oh, you have to meet certain healthy standards for what? Bash! Nothing! Right? What are you talking about? Okay? You're going to put anything in your filthy mouth anyway? Just the fact that you go and pay out for something else doesn't give you the right to automatically expect it to be pristine as a purity that you think you are. Wow. Amazing. Because you're not wrong, in fact, to say that you have the purity of the image of God. Okay? No. You get to see it and know the truth and return to the Father and endure the flesh. Amazing. It's amazing. Wow. But this is going to now make the food of the future. And it has hands. And it can move. But who's going to clean the damn thing and what is it doing? Just mashing food left and right and not giving a damn. <laughs> as long as it's just, just smash it, <laughs> smash it it's something in between two pieces of bread and calls it, you know, some fancy name. Who gives a damn? Certainly not this bachelor. Certainly not this whatever that is. Who gives a damn, right? Because look, this is the red fruit of the future that's just going to get smashed by this hand, right? And all these germaphobes that exist today, what are they doing? Inviting all this machinery 
I mean, would you go into a mechanic shop and just eat off the whatever sh shelf? Who cares? There's people that might, and they live. Wow, amazing. That happens. But no, you have to just go and polish the crap out of everything. Yes, you must because you fear it and you think you are clean when in fact you're the one that is defiled to the fullest wizard level of full manipulation priesthood class of clowns. Yes, clowns, because this truly is a clown that's dressed up as a machine about to make a sandwich. Wow. Anyways, there's this trend that some of the basic jobs are automated in the food industry, but there is also a trend that people are making more money. They spend less time cooking. They spend more time going out and actually caring about what they eat. So, Oh, because they couldn't possibly make it themselves or actually not give a damn of what they read in books and what they say is good for you. Wow. Who knew that there's a concept called plowing and feed the spirit? Plow and feed the spirit. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Humble yourself, woman. What are you talking about? Nutritionists, um, good cooks, and people who can create amazing food and amazing restaurants. Exactly. So you're going to pay top dollar to eat some food that no, that some Autobot could make as according to that last footage. You're going to tell me, oh, yes, there's still good cooks out there that no, all it is to them is just mashing, mash, mash, alchemy, 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 no problem. No problem, right? Or is it something else? Could it be something else? According to this person, she would probably say no. You're going to be in high demand. Okay, come on. Go, cook! Right, because it all goes back to cartoons, everyone. Absolutely. Cook, cook, cook! Market number five, occupation number five, developers, like any developers. Software developers. Okay, so we're seeing a trend now, okay? Medicine, okay? Sales, those who sell it. And what else? Creative people. Yes, those that can think tank their way how to pass you next and you think it, is your, it was your idea to begin with. Wow. All because they are served upon your, what exactly, your soul and are just at any given moment just wishing and hoping that you can be pounced upon in your most vulnerable position. But in fact, at that position, you will think it's your most confident position. And of course, it will just ravage and savagely to follow your orifices and just relentlessly go in and out giving you the thrill of just being projected to a bliss of that's right demise and pure turning into sand that turns to dust that just will go and cause a flower eruption a blast a blast a further blast that you hope will then launch you into the abyss ascending fire of the what Second death. Wow. Deceived. Engineer, app developer, um, UX, UI designer, product, uh, etc. Whatever is connected with uh, coding and created products online is going to be in high demand because, yes, there are still industries that are merging that are going from offline into online. And, yes, we need to help them do that. And, yes. Oh, going from offline to online, right? So you're just trying to relentlessly upload people higher and higher up into the cloud, right? Because... Because the earth wasn't enough, once you ravage and savage the savage mind and into the convincing it was a flesh, no, now you have to go for it all. The long con, right? Go for the full thing, meaning exactly now that the flesh, the body is now completely s obliterated, meaning totally enslaved and believing that it's what it is. And wow, you can just click and click and just fist, abyss, abyss, wishing you never took that bite from, you guessed it, the apple. Whatever, the fruit of the forbidden fruit of being deceived and to believe that you could have the discernment between right and wrong and know what exactly. You will know also uh, from that common perspective, you will truly live it. You will live the double-edged sword of truth because you split from it. You decided to just uh, give in to the doubt and jump full feet in. Wow, wow. But now that you're in it, you are just riding that split as long as you can because that's all you know, apparently. Because no, it couldn't be possibly that, wow, there's such a thing as what the, what drives, what is the impulse? What is the life? What is the life, the relentless rhythm of the pumps in your chest that you call your heart that is your love, apparently? Wow. Wow. No, it couldn't be that, wow, that that's just a, 
the frontier for the eternal love of the Father. Wow. Yes, that chest beats and it's trying to shatter that 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 uh, the covering of stone that is quickly just engulfing, uh, squeezing the life out of it relentlessly. Yes, we need a lot of professionals to do that. And by the way, these are really well-paid professionals. If you look at the American market, on average, software engineer will make like $100,000 a year. Okay, so just, okay, oh, so attractive, 1K. And then people are like, man, I can make that, no problem doing some oral immoral thing. Some oral, oral, oral. Some other oral immoral thing. What are you talking about? What are we doing here? What is this? For this profession, though, you would need a bachelor's degree and the projected growth, if we think of like 2016. A bachelor degree, amazing. Everyone has one. Dean and go to 2026. The projected. So this might be the new base job. Growth is more than 36%. And also, we're. But wow, it's 100K. Wow. It sure seems like amazingness. Wow, sure, right? No, because you'll probably be paying back in taxes of some global tax for the commonwealth of the children so that you can just say, wow, I feel good. I'm doing it for the child I never had because I made a career and I just want to feed the future. I just want to feed that future relentlessly. Or you could have six billion kids and you're still relentlessly saying, yes, I'm, I'm destroying and defiling everything for the future of the children. It's the same blasted thing. Wow. Just because you've been blasted, blasted, totally mined and excavated, totally just, totally squeezed to the last essence, last, last of the last, the last of times. Have you, have you paying attention? Are you seeing the truth? Or do you see the signs? Of course not. But of course, you may come to see it. Turn from your ways, yes. We're looking at projected of 1 million employment by 2026. Attractive. Nice software. Mm. Market number six, and this is the market where I'm in, is education. And I would concentrate on post-secondary education, meaning that people are learning languages, people are learning different skills. And I think this traditional education, when we just go to classes and follow the curriculum that is already set by somebody else, is fading away. Think of Finland, they've created this new school concept where kids don't just go to classes that teachers tell them to attend, they select what they want to do. If they want to sing, wow. they can sing the whole day. If they want to construct something, then the school will provide resources for that. And What child do you ever know that ever just sang for an, a whole day? And if they did, they probably wouldn't do it the next day, would they? So is it the point of the children at that young age or whatever? Come on, it's to guide them. With the wisdom of God that allows you fully capable with full ability and full love and full joy and full might to endure the swarm. Because why? Because you had to see it. That's why. Because it must. It had to be. Okay? It had to be. It had to be. But no, you don't want to hear that. You wish it weren't. And that's why you get blasted in your fantasy world of just blast, 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 me, me, me. I get to say the future and I will also create the jobs for it. I will also create the jobs for it and my thing will just blast away anything that tells me it's not going to have me in it. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Finland is like the top country for education in the world right now. And what I think is going to be a trend in the future is that people would not just it couldn't be possibly that they're selecting children and picking them out like potato. Hat. They're just separate. Oh, they know that this child likes music, so you don't have to further spend 12 years for doing the same programming that could work even better if you knew what it was that you could just shatter immediately. Wow, what a concept. No, amazing. What is this person saying? What is this person saying? Because ultimately... Yes, this person, the child might be interested and you nurse them and they do, but then guess what? They go out there in the world and get smashed. Absolutely smashed because this worthless system teaches them nothing about life. It teaches them stuff about self-fulfillment, self-righteousness, instant gratification, and always wanting to be better. Because what? It sure damn feels good. 
because no, it couldn't be that all it is to do is just express the love of the Father and just all its glory, right? Because what are you? Who are you to just dish out love that you say you love and have to not give and all this nonsense? Wow, that sounds like what? Your father, Satan, Lucifer, the distractor and deceiver of the shape-shifting light. What are you saying? Look at this person. Confused. Okay, look, this is the stunned mouth of trying to say something and not being able to. Just in the middle. Exactly. Saying captured in stillness and a silent word. Wow. Just go to like standard school or standard, you know, university to get their bachelor's. Maybe they would even skip some stages and go straight into getting some skill, like one year course in photography, one year course in design or whatever. So just smash around and play Leaf Park wherever the, oh, wherever the dam you think it is, that where the grass is greener, that's where you'll certainly go. Just chase, 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 always, 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 forever, relentlessly, forever, forever, forever. Wow, just chasing. Chasing some guy, some, chasing some job, chasing some idea of your future self, chasing this, chasing the serpent that deceives you and defiles you, goes in the ear and just comes out and eats itself and tourists and inside out and tells you that you're shedding your past because you're so Kundalini strong. Wow, what a baloney lie. Wow, it's bold. It's the most boldest lie. It's the boldest lie that's ever lived on the face of what you think is Earth. Wow, amazing. And go straight into workplace and get real life experience. Teachers? Guys, because you need real life experience. Just go out there and get bashed and smashed. Will be in really high demand, but I would also emphasize that education is going online. and. Okay, it couldn't possibly be that soon they're just going to put you in a room and just relentlessly sodomize your mind and with different lights and just blast your eyes with all sorts of things. And you're going to think you're learning so much. Oh, wow, it's so well. And then now you're just something you don't even know. And all of a sudden you just feel things that you don't even know why you film. You just film and it's so amazing. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, you just will strength that Kool-Aid, no problem. That's right. Because it could not possibly be just a splitting of the mind as they say, show you here. Look, the splitting of the screen, but this person doesn't give a damn. They're going to keep working their ass off just typing away. Just click, 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 clacking, click until they make it. Yes. The online education market is growing at 15% year over year. So, And a lot of universities are publishing the... Look, this is Waldorf School of Harry Potter nonsense. Who gives a damn what the name is? But look, it's where all the wizards go. This is where they learn master wizardry of how to do and manipulate using other mani mass manipulators, okay? Because they get to bash and smash your mind, meaning your perception, what you think life is. All these masses of books all exist to just mash and bash you and tell you what life is. Wow. So amazing, but yet you think having all this mashed up books and knowledge of information of nothingness somehow makes you what exactly something, but you believe in nothing, so you're nothing apparently. So, why do you even have all this mash of nothing? Oh, it, maybe that's why it's getting so bold because actually people realize and they just relentlessly will keep giving a damn. They say they're caught in the lie, but they'll just not give a damn they'll just continue on and on and on and on and on and on because you know what to them it feels like so good like so good like wow i'm championing my world and it's as i perceive it to be despite that trauma i have championed it all because i can do it wow but no these people cannot do it because what you can only overcome through what? Accepting, humbling yourself of and ridding, accepting and ridding the false illusion of control that you think you have over the paradigm that you call the world. Wow, just because you can manipulate others into doing something you want, you call that amazing. You call that amazing. And you made a whole library of things and mystery schools to just blast, blast, blast. Because, hey, you could manipulate someone else. And then you could do it so good that they don't even know it. And eventually, they're doing it out of their own thought process, even though they don't. 
that's not what they were doing. They were just blasted to do it. What is this going on? This is all just mash, 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 because this is history, so, so philosophy. This is all sorts of orgies and isms and nasty isms and all this contradictions and just slamming and just piling and just persuasion and favor and all this sort of stuff. You think of how many of the books have been burned and all this nonsense. That's right. Because you know what's eternal? The Word of God. That's right. That's written. It has been written and will not ever be burned. You can burn all the Bibles you want. It will, the Word of God prevails. And it's the truth in the living life that you see and receive relentlessly every day. But guess what? You also will receive relentlessly what? The thieving and the temptation of, you guessed it, the swarm. So what? You say, well, either I join the swarm because I know it's the swarm and I'll just don't give a damn. Okay, go do it. But don't go and deceive yourself further. Admit it. And those people around you are already seeing it whether you want them to see it or not. Wow, amazing. Who would have thought that the, that the truth would come to the light, meaning the light is not the truth. Okay, the truth will show, will show the light in all its false lies. The truth will not be defeated. It cannot be. It is eternal forever. It's still written forever. Yes, and granted, it's the promise, the only true promise the Father ever gave. The promise of eternal life. Yes. Return to the Father. There's only one way. Yes. The course is online and a lot of teachers are creating their curriculum online. So I would say teachers who can bring their courses from offline. So remote blasting is coming too. We're just going and staring to some screen and now you know the world. Online to online are going to thrive in the future. Doesn't that already exist apparently? Right? What is What do people call the internet? People think it's so amazing. No, nope. you need to go further into the abyss, guys, because the internet is not enough. Yeah. Who's teacher? There are also some professions that have, unfortunately, well, according to Forbes, Monster, and Glasser, have no future in the next 10 years. A lot of professions that are connected with agriculture. With agriculture, yes, agriculture. Oh. Because it would be amazing if you said it wasn't. Because then what are people eating? Wow, amazing. And because, yes, uh, a lot of them are going to be automated. For example, farmers, ranchers, and other... Exactly, they're saying nonsense of this sustainable nonsense is going to actually be incorporated and pushed forward. Everybody who's on a, some sort of farm just trying to create some utopia on Earth is going to be smashed or told that he has to come now and work for them. And all of his crops are going to be taken for the good of the children of the future. And this guy is going to be so mad. And if he's not mad, he's just going to love the rewards. Wow. If he's so mad, he might say something. And then he'll just get bashed in the knees and taken. But if he's a man of God, it doesn't matter because his flesh returns to the dust. But his spirit is everlasting, returning to the Father as it always was. Yes. Amen. So there is no intimidating a man of God to submission. No, because he knows the certainty in his heart. It is written. It is written. Written. And any man who believeth otherwise is a man in doubt. A man in doubt is a man who relentlessly fights and just dismays, cause ravage, just angry, just not satisfied, trying to be grateful, nothing bashed. Always trying to better himself for no good reason. He's always tell, being told by the world, just shame, 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 nothing, nothing. You're dust. Of course, he's been told that, but somehow he thinks he can still get laid. And that's all that his life has become. A process of him trying to secure the most hot girl he can and hope she's a good lay because that's all you have to look for, apparently. Wow, what a smashed up reality. This guy believed. And if he's a man of God, wow, what a shame. If he's a man of God and put in that situation and he chose the flesh before he chose God, wow, everybody gets what they deserve. Exactly because what you actually chose, you get. Yes. It's all about serving what master. What is the master? 
And of course, there's temptation that comes and taketh away. Yes. Wow. The agricultural managers, also anything that is connected with post delivery, like postal services, mailmen, etc. And they also. Right. So she's just saying all the ones that are just getting hacked, 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 hacked. How you, you, she's smashing all these jobs, right? So mentioning some professions that are connected with data entry, because again, there are a lot of programs that can do that, and like wow. data analysis, uh, this can be done by a machine already. On the other- Exactly, what do you think all the data centers are doing? Receiving and filing and defiling and smashing and dialing and calling, receiving and transferring and saving and nothing. Uploading, smashing, just updating, refreshing, updating, software, sit in, out, contact, zero, one, 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 yes, no, no, blast. Blast into oblivion of yeses and nos, where it doesn't mean anything to you because it's the yin and the yang, right? It's just one big mash. Wow, what a lie. It could have possibly be that yes is one life. Not multiple lives, like you'll believe you will die and then come back because yes, so say it some book of what demons, yes, you guess it, about some multiple blasted way of living in multiverses where you come in and out and somehow just transform like nothing with business. Oh, just day in and day out, just relentless business. Oh, yes, because the spirit is just a transfer of what energy, you guessed it. You transfer energy, just you dish it out and you can power it up at your will. And oh, it's so beautiful. Wow, smashed. Smash, smash, smashed. Because what are they actually doing? What are they actually doing? Evoking and chanting, and doing all this stuff, ritual, rituals. It's all ritual. But what is the only ritual? Overcoming the flesh is the only ritual. Not succumbing to it and worshiping at every chance you get. Wow, shame. On the other hand, there are some professions that you cannot really learn right now but they're going to be in a huge demand in future. For example, drone operator. There are already so many drones, but oh, I haven't seen like a That's right, because first it was the gamer, now it is the droner. The one who will just pave the space way to nothing. Wow, look at this. He can, he's, going to, he's going to be the one killing, shooting you down with bullets that just have uncanny accuracy. Wow, just dead in one little blast and nobody will see it. It's just in and out like a bee that comes and stings. Wow, but why does it come and sting? Well, nobody knows. It just did. It just got angry, right? Oh, it just lies. Look at you. That's right. It just watch out. It's the it's a Herbert cartoon sneaking up. He's creeping over the horizon. Look, the abyss is coming for you with this bladed something that has something and uh, two eyes. Wow, amazing. Look. You guys, you better prepare to start practicing those thumb skills. Not that you already don't have amazing thumb skills and motor skills of chest blast. But look, now you'll be able to just do it relentlessly for countless hours, day in, day out. But you won't even give a damn what day in, day out means. Because you don't even give a damn what happens to you. It's just as long as it's bliss and you're just getting sucked off and just blasted. Done. Just pleasure, pleasure, right? Because, yes, it couldn't be that all you want is to see some sort of way that you're thinking you're transforming the world. It couldn't be that you're just thinking, sitting there, just getting sucked off and thinking you're transforming the world so hard. You're transforming the world so hard by what you're doing and who you're trying to get favor from and in favor and just smashing and trying to go and be, be being disappointed and let down and smash and always trying to, you know, get to the next thing so you can get that raise that your union is just pulling things, strings for you, but nobody gives a damn. Wow. Relentless. This this is a relentless bashing thing. Relentless bashing think and this person is hiding behind the technology that created it wow amazing a comprehensive course in drone, drone operating but in the future we're going to have them everywhere and uh, wow she couldn't wait to say that in the future they will be everywhere wow just like satellites are apparently just everywhere just smashing and dashing right with no automators, they just know, and everybody's so precise at NASA, they just know, and every time it's so precise. But no, they tell you, oh, well, sometimes they smash, and that's why we have other satellites out there just smashing and collecting dust and just blowing it up into smithereens. Wow, wow. 
That's what you believe. And now you're, that's why you're so willing to accept just drones. They're going to make them look like birds, and it's going to even be better because you'll just think they're birds, and wow, you just love birds and nature and all of it because it's just so amazing. Wow, what a shame we should not only navigate them, we should also build systems for them to, you know, coexist with us. Another profession is VR designer. I think you can already learn it, wow. but the future of... Exactly. You want to coexist with the beast. Look, this is the beast fully plugged in. You won't even have a chance. Right there, direct with all audio, visual, and actual motion embedded to the helmet that just smashes <laughs> relentlessly. Just smashes relentlessly, okay? <laughs> and look, this person doesn't even know it, but this, this does, this certainly does because it's capturing everything on film of somewhere. Because who knows where this connects to? Who knows, but who gives a damn if it gives me a thrill? And a sense of some twisted up sister spin doctor, you know, just, you know, concept of a purpose. It doesn't matter because I can just change it tomorrow and try it again. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a mash up, what a mash up, okay? Which just smashed, just totally, just, wow. VR is that you can design something uh, like a spaceship and uh, people who are gonna go into space. <laughs> exactly, it's, look, they couldn't wait. They couldn't wait to show you that you're, now instead of putting boots on the ground, you're gonna put boots across your face and just stare into the bottom of that soul because that's the only soul left in you. The one that you think you're staring outside of you and you're just eternally going to stare at that soul at the bottom of the boot and think it your own. Wow. Shame. Shame, shame. Wow. What a shame. Space can train before they actually fly. Trash engineers are going to be in huge demand because we have... Trash engineers. <laughs> What are they engineering? If not just pushing, push, just push you engineer, push. They don't even get a locomotive to do the pushing and them riding it, no. Then you'll have to just bash your way through the trash and just smash the trash again and over and over relentlessly, right? But who gives a damn? It's so prestigious because you're an engineer, wow. And it's not that this person isn't probably the most humble. And God is like, this is the this is a son of God because this that, this person does not give a damn of what other people understand. He probably has a loving wife and he's guiding his children right to the you guessed it truth. He keeps his flock aligned with the truth. Yes, yes. Because that's the only thing to seek shelter under the truth. Wow, who would have ever thought? Who would have thought? Definitely not this person over here. And definitely not this person. Look, this person is actually just trying to all to give you mixed messages of what color she is and all hair and oh what is going on? What is going on? Shame. What a shame. So much trash and we produce so much trash. We need to utilize it without damaging the earth. The Wow, of course, we got to know how to utilize it without damaging the earth. Wow, of course, which is the just relentless m tool to just keep bashing that line of that, that orifice. You know, they have so many orifices where they're just bashing relentlessly in and out in you and just causing more detriment to following that you don't even know where it's coming up. But all of a sudden, you, you don't even know why you feel certain ways. And all of a sudden, you're just blasted trying to figure out your childhood trauma and calling in all these demons that are just telling you whispers of what you think it was and what it will be and all this nonsense. What is this? Of course, it's telling you, this is your mash. This is your mash, your filth of just mash think, thinking you are saving the world while paving it. Amazing. You were saving the world while you were paving the world to space. Wow. Yes, you were paving actually just obliterating the living life out of you by beating it against the wall and calling it what? Fun. Calling it excitement. Calling it passion. Because who does murderous things? Passionate people. With people with passion. It was a passionate crime. Exactly, passion, having passion for all these things is just further demise. Further demise because any tree hugger will hug this garbage and eat it probably if it could just to show you what damage it's done to a seagull. But 
What are they? Sh- they're doing nothing. And these are all the supposed people that are supposedly doing something. They're just further defiling themselves, proving a point that they were right about some bash that they didn't even know was going on in their heads. And somehow they're going to turn it all around for the world to just all of a sudden admit, wow, oh, yeah, we should have paid attention to some bash. But look, it wasn't that the, that, that the life was relentlessly telling us, wow, it wasn't that. No, it was Mother Nature telling us through all these things of loss of everything. Right? No. It's being taken. It's thieving. It's lost. It, okay? Life just relentlessly gives. Look. Right? This was all washed out. Purge out. Purge out. And of course there's all those plastic islands floating around in the abyss. What? Of course they are. And so are you. It persists relentlessly. And it endures. But what? You're just going to think yourself this, you know, victimized to the power 33 degree bottle here. Why is it this bottle next to its other bottles? Give this bottle right here the rights it deserves. Give this other piece of plastic what it deserves because it is a piece of plastic. Wow. And this person certainly, wow, this person is being totally marginalized because it's so far apart from all the other pieces of bash. What are we talking about? Exactly. We're all just bashing each other with not even knowing what exactly the thing we call life is. Wow. What a concept. But no, it's all matched to you. The next profession that I can think of is educational advisor. Because again, we're going away from this mass market education. We're going into a more customizable curriculum. Oh, exactly. Because four was the blast and then the specialized. This is when the specialist comes in, right? Because there's so many of these swarms. The swarm comes in and they're just testing, 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 testing. Who can I pro from? But what's it in? It just got full flush and the total surgeon comes in and demises. Just opens it up and takes and delivers. What exactly? MASH. Exactly. Wow. And if there is a person who you can talk to and who's going to tell you, oh, hey, you will be good at this, you can take this and that course and uh, take an internship there, and then you're going to be ready to conquer the market. So this kind of profession uh, will be... Counselors. Counselors. What book is this? Is this... What is this? This looks like the Bible. And so it's an open mockery. Open mockery. And if, what is this? It's probably not the Bible, but you made it look like you probably read the Bible in your soul. So, so, you're such a good person because, oh, just anybody who read the Bible, just, it just, oh, 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 oh. No! The Word of God. Yes. The Bible. What? So what? What is the Word of God? It's relentless. It's everywhere. And yes, by reading the Bible, of course you're going to see. Of course you're going to see. But of course you can see if you ever, if you didn't even ever read the Bible. What is wrong with these people? But no, they don't want to see because they put their eyes down to it. Look, exactly, because they choose the smash and smash and refractive effect of the pure light without protection. Wow. Amazing be really in high demand in terms of education. And the last thing that I wanted to mention is uh, a profession called a body slash organ creator. Brain. Oh, of course they couldn't wait. Of course they couldn't wait. All about just mashing jeans with jeans and jeans and jeans and just wash, put them through the wash and just mashing them together, making all these combinations and recombinant, decombinant and all these p- pathways and gels and oh my goodness look there's two brains now you could just mash two brains in instead of one who knew who knew you could have two brains wow 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 you can have four th- twice as the mind just split now instead of two splits you have, will have four amazing wow sad what a shame <laughs> I just chatted to my friend from MIT and what he's doing is that they're growing body parts in pigs cuz wow wow growing body parts in pigs they're using the pigs as just what they're just sucking the life out of something to make some sort of bash wow amazing and calling it all science they're calling it science just because they could get in there and just ma- put their filthy hands and just mash and mash, mix, mash, and mash, and somehow you get mash. Wow, who knew? 
but somehow this is going to be the future. Wow, so amazing. Who knew that you weren't here to just, uh, wow, accept the love and life, accept it in the living, breathing temple of Christ, which is, the, of course, the flesh, you have the purpose. So what do you do? Do you return to the Father? No, you go and just defile and defile where you need to get a transplant of some sort of organ. Or you were born with it because somehow there's been defiling over and over and over and over with these bashings of recombinant. You know, it just, of course it's a spiritual battle. That, that's why it affects a physical form. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? And that would be, of course, the ultimate lie so that man could just negate God completely, saying, Oh God, why would you ever give me a bomb heart? Or, Oh God, why would you ever give me a bomb knee? All these poor me victims of the 33rd power. And it could possibly be that no matter if you have a bomb heart or not, it's here to be overcome. Wow, what a concept. What a concept. The flesh is here to be overcome. Wow, what a concept. No. No, wow. And in that sense, we are perfect in the image of God. No matter what this person is. And no, instead they're going to say, no, I am what I am. I was born that way. I was born just traumatized. No, you are born the way and as the flesh is. It's a manifestation of the living truth. Yes. So you have to deal with it. Not the world. The world could give a damn. But of course you're going to make the world love you because you want it to love you. And it's all about you and how much love you can come to hone and just augment and turn off and turn on at the wish of your dime, wishes, desire. Wow. Wow. Sad. Uh, pigs and humans are really similar, <laughs> kind of. So they're taking uh, humans' DNA, creating a liver in a pig, and it's going to be 100% compatible with that human. They haven't. Wow. Of course, this is all going with, you know, artificial wombs. Yes. Because now we want to completely obliterate the woman from the shame of having a child. Wow. Wow. What a concept. Wow. But no, it's, it's being sold as well. Now you can uh, help people that cannot have children, like two homosexuals or two lesbians or anything with an animal or anything that you want. If you want a baby, just sign up here and you can get one and how many time it will take to cook one up. Yes. Wow. Wow. Shame. What a shame. Because that's the total aberration of the what? The purpose. Of the purpose of the flesh, which is to what? Exactly. Live the life and love. And what is the love? What is the love and life? Not love, not light. It's the love and life, not love and light. Oh, but this person loves the light. Look, it's telling it. It's telling, the light is telling, look, this is your heart and open and it's going to be smashed and just pounded back into you. I haven't transferred it yet, but this is already what is going on. So people who are specializing in that area, that is a great area for 2020. That was it for me, guys. Wow. Because, of course, there'll be all sorts of, the swarm will come and protect all those technologies and say, I'm a recipient of a heart. How dare you speak against it? Blah, blah, blah. Wow, what a shame. Because the world doesn't give a damn. Of course it's going to use everything it can to just make you love it more. Wow. Wow. It couldn't possibly be that, wow, you are, wow. Yes, you were given some Frankenstein heart, but who gives a damn? Are you loving the life and the way and the truth? If you're not, then your heart was worth it wasn't that person. It wasn't worth the pig it was grown on. Okay? What are you talking about? It's just mash and mash because you can take your nose off and put it in your chin. You can mash up all sorts of pieces of your body and rearrange. But no, nobody gives a damn. As long as you can just rearrange them the way you want, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, exactly. There's no rearrangement that man could ever do. That would actually make him God. Wow. Who would have thought? Wow. Okay, we'll end it there.